Okay, so then we're gonna do a quick test with the Armadillo Tech case, which I've got here. Um, I, when I first got the phone, Armadillo Tech sent me this and I was able to protect my phone because I'm pretty paranoid about uh, dropping phones. Um, so pretty awesome stuff. It's got a kickstand. Um, it's got very good clearance for the back. So this back, whole back is super thick. Uh, it's gonna really protect your phone. On the bottom also, I actually cut the bottom part out. It actually covers it up, but I didn't really like it. So I took that out. Also the top has very good protection. And the front has a pretty good amount of lip. All right, I do have a screen protector that's sort of coming off and I'm just gonna leave it on there because the point is I'm not actually trying to break my phone. Since I'm gonna be taking off the screen protector anyway, so I'm gonna leave it on. But we'll go ahead and do some real world testing. So let's go and test it out. All right, in this first test, we're gonna just simply take it out of the pocket. All right. Um, nothing, nothing really happened. All right, that's just my screen protector. It's, it's the screen protector. Protector is already slightly scratched, slightly cracked. Let me go ahead and try again, a couple more times. All right. Let me do it three more times. <laughs> All right, that was a really bad, bad one. Uh, my, my S Pen popped out. Ooh, my S Pen getting beat up. All right, still no real damage. Um, let's do, let's do, uh, let's do a test from uh, while talking. Hello, hello. <laughs> All right, um, just the screen protector sort of coming off. The screen protector sort of having cracks. Um, <laughs> but um, the screen protector hasn't cracked, which is a good sign. All right, let's go ahead and try two more times. Hello? Hello? All right, let's see. All right, looks pretty good. Um, the screen protector keeps coming off, so no visible cracks on the screen protector. I mean, like a real crack. I see like sort of inner cracked. All right, one more. Let's say I'm running, or let's say I'm walking and dropping. Alright, <laughs> I don't know. Alright, let's just do a test. There's somebody walking and then somebody hits me. So it's gonna go go out like that. Hey, what's up, bro? Alright, that one sort of landed in the ooh. That was a pretty bad drop. So I do finally have a crack. It's shattered. I'm hoping the inside of it is okay. <laughs> so I think it is actually a good idea to use a screen protector. Okay, just, just the last one. I'm just gonna like f flip it real crazy. Oops. I fucking dropped it. Ready? That one didn't really drop that well. Let me try again. <laughs> Hi guys, my new wireless microphone stopped working, but that was actually the end of the video. Um, but let me go ahead and show you the original phone with the case off. Absolutely in pristine condition, um, just like the day I bought it. On the screen itself, absolutely no scratches, 
at all looking super super duper clean as you can see here so really happy uh, that I didn't break my phone now when I viewed the footage over I noticed that uh, on that part where I drop my phone into the aloe um, it actually hit the concrete the side of the concrete like this and that's actually when the screen protector um, shattered right here all right um, so other than that actually the screen protector uh, held itself I actually threw this in the trash that's why I got even more crack but um, it was actually in pretty much one piece when I took it out from the phone so obviously using a temper glass such as this uh, along with this will ultimately give you the ultimate protection um, just in case because you're not going to always drop your phone on flat surfaces and this this really helped me this was like actually right here where it hit it and you can see absolutely beautiful right there so the moral of today's video obviously go ahead and use a case and use a temper glass, especially for the Galaxy devices. Now, the Galaxy devices are more prone to breaking because of the curved surface. That's why if you need to protect it, you need a case like the Armadillo Tech that's super thick or get a case that has very thick lip. Otherwise, it's just simply not gonna have as a cushion where it's gonna protect the lip here, all right? And that's what breaks the most. And as you can see, even with my temper glass, the breaking point was actually on the side right there uh, on the curb point not in the middle all right um this one lived up pretty well it was actually sort of coming off it was getting dirt on the sides and stuff so i got a bunch of new ones so i'm gonna just install a new one but i'm really impressed my phone's in pretty much 100 percent new condition um i've been using a case and tempered glass ever since i got it so i'm glad i'm protecting my phone yeah, just love it. Also, let me go ahead and give you a close-up of what happened to the Armadillo Tech case. You can see a little scratch here, a little scratch here, a little scratch here. Not too many scratches. On the top part, you'll see a little scratch up here, 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 and here. So we covered all four points. And even then, um, my phone's working great. The case is still usable, a very nice case. You can use it as a, a kickstand just like that. You tend to cry like a five-year-old every time you drop your phone and crack your screen. You should really get one of these to protect your phone and a tempered glass. I'll put the links where you can get this and also the screen protector if you guys are interested. Have a great day and as always, stay home.